have I got some updates for you guys. Let's start off with the solar panel mounts over here. Voila, look at that, huh? Up nice and high, about the lowest end here is probably about, oh, I didn't measure it, but mm, seven, seven feet or so. We still have these four panels right here. They're gonna actually go right down there. I will show you how we built it when we build that one, but I'll just give you a quick, quick sneak peek here. Basically, it's a unistrut or super strut up here welded together here, here, and then this comes down to here. These are our log posts with the DIY pressure treating. Some bolts holding it together as well. It's on hinges and it can be adjusted for winter or summer. You could adjust it every day if you wanted to. They will go from horizontal to vertical uh, with this adjustment right here. Of course, we don't need them horizontal or vertical, but we can adjust it, say four times a year, right? So. Um, summer, fall, winter, spring, back to summer again. And so we're optimizing how much power we can make. You saw us digging all these holes right here. We got all the holes dug all the way around the garden and the corners put in. We also have one fence wire put up. So it comes around the pole like this. This is an insulator here because this is going to be an electric fence. Seven feet tall, tensioners right here. And then it goes all the way down to that corner and then around back to here, right, where we've got it as well. And another tensioner here, because it's split, there's gonna be a big gate right here, a tractor gate over there. This is gonna be the man gate. The two by fours up there are just temporary, like this one over here. It's actually gonna be a big log that goes on top of there, kind of a log cabin-y look to it. So I'm hoping we're gonna get the fence done today. That's the plan. So what we're doing is we're running one wire along the top all the way around because um, we have all the corners set. And then we're running uh, a second wire about a foot off of the ground, the bottom wire. That way, when we line up all the rest of the poles, we make sure that the top and the bottom touch. And then we will, all right, the wire will be straight going around the garden. That's the idea anyway. That's what we're going to try. But we gotta cut this right here. They make like special little insulators, but they also make this long tubing. It comes in a 50 foot roll insulator tubing. And so we're actually using this. So this will go around the pole like this, right? And the wire will go through it. And then it'll be twisted together here and come out like that. So this will insulate it from the post where it starts. And then we'll just cut six inch pieces off and they go where every post is all the way around the thing, right? So we got a bunch of these to cut and then we'll get stringing that wire. Have I ever told you guys that this is the most used tool on the homestead? It is, use it all the time. Are there other tools that work better? Yeah, there are. For most jobs that this thing does, there's another tool that works better, but I don't have all of those other tools on my belt with me at all times. So that's why this is the most used tool. All right, we got all four of the end ones, the longest ones. Then we need some for the corners. Right? And so a corner basically just goes around it like that. So it only needs to be, mm, make it that long right there. And we've got, of course, we've got four corners. So we need to cut four this length. All right, so now we need like 26 six inch ones. Now look at this, it even has a little tape measure on it. Ah, oh, it's so nice. Six inches right here. So what I found was you just cut it once. It doesn't cut all the way through. Typically it'll cut it like this. Then you just fold it over and you can cut the next one. All right, so Jules is going to hold the spool of wire. We've got our corner piece we'll take with us. And then a bunch of these shorter ones as well. And as we go around, as we pay out the wire, we're just gonna put these guys on as we go and then we'll adjust them to where they go. I'm 
Now we do the same thing to the other side and then we can get to actually tightening it up. Now we get to install the ratcheting guy here to tighten it up and some um, wire connectors here. These are crimp sleeves and that way we can jump all the wires together when we electrify this. I'll show you how that works when we get to that stage. Basically right for right now, we wanna measure out three feet and we wanna cut the wire right there. Then we take our ratcheting tool here Bend that over right here, like this. Then we're just gonna twist this around. Like that, like a moron, I forgot to put the crimping thing on right here. Uh. So I cut this to just the right length. So now we gotta try to untwist it. I did this on the top wire as well once. You don't wanna forget those things. Cause it makes it a real pain. All right. Uh. Here we go. So we take this guy and we slip it on here. Okay, so if you notice, it has like almost two holes. It's like got two, two definite spots on it. So one spot goes through here and then you'll crimp that, you put another wire through here and jump it to the next one and crimp those both together. So anyway, but that just goes on there for right now. Then we take this guy and we put it back over here, bend that back over, bend that back around. They spell, sell a special tool to like twist these things. Basically all it is is a piece of metal with a hole in it. This works perfect, man. Does a nice clean job, nice and tight. All right, so that goes out like that. Then we just take this piece we put it through here, pull it tight, like that, fold that over. I like to just cut off the excess so later it's not getting tangled up in there or anything. Then we just start ratcheting it up some. So this side is done, we'll do the other side as well, and then we'll be ready to start setting in our other posts. Now that we have the bottom wire, and the top wire in, running down the fence line. Right, we can go and set the rest of these posts really easily. We just need to get it so that it's touching down there, barely touching up here, and then plumb this way. And then hopefully our fence will be nice and straight. All of these poles down the middle are actually pretty small poles. And so there's plenty of room in the hole for us to move it around a little bit. Right, you can tell here we've got, we've got gobs of room down there to line this thing up, to move it over whichever direction it needs to go. So that's what we're gonna be doing now, filling in these holes, tapping them down, getting the posts all set, stapled in. Then we can go ahead and run all the rest of the wire around it and it'll be, it'll be free of deer, elk, moose, bear, whatever else wants to come in here and get it. Finally got all of the fence posts in here for the garden. Took four to five hours to get that done today. Let's take a look here. Not too bad, man, not too bad. Look at that. 
they're not all that good. I mean, this this line right here came out really good. That one did. That one's pretty good back there. But this one here, it was at the end of the day. Got a little wonky. All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, let's go this way. That way you can see it. Yep. This one right here got drilled in the wrong spot. Could I redo it? I could. I might redo it tomorrow or something. Have to do it all by hand. Just depends on how bad it bugs me in between now and then. But as for today, it doesn't bug me all that much, man. It doesn't. But if I move that one and I move another one down there, it could be pretty good actually. Right, so I mean, these are, these are all really, really good right there. I mean, that corner one came out too far, but if I could move, if I move this one, and then there's one down there, like three down. If I move that one, then it'd be really straight line right here. We'll see, we'll see what happens with that. You tell me, should I move those or should I be like, ah, it's just a garden fence, don't worry about it. Let's see what Jules' opinion is. What's your opinion, Jules? I say it's great already. Great already, Mama says. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So right now, Jules is just working on cleaning up some of this stuff. This is the mark from the poles. We've got extra poles we're gonna have to carry out of here, turn into firewood. You wanna see what else is going on here on our homestead? There's a video right over here that you'd probably like to check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.